By now, you may have participated in a virtual court hearing. Whether we like it or not, these electronic hearings are here to stay and they're going to be part of the new normal way of conducting courts. Many attorneys may not have been quite prepared for e-hearings and some may have had to reconfigure their offices or upgrade their technology to make the shift from the courtroom to the computer. And while we may now be getting the hang of these things, there's always room for improvement. So here are five tips to up your game at virtual court hearings. Welcome back to Kalor Lu, the channel for the modern Caribbean team. My name is Jason, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you'll know whenever new content is posted. Nothing is worse than a court hearing where you cannot see the participants. So let's start with the basics. You'll need a decent camera. Modern laptops now have built-in cameras, but your tablet or phone are also good or even better camera sources for video conferencing. There are many options in terms of webcams that you can plug directly into your computer. So do your research before buying. Where you place the camera is also important. If your client is going to be present with you at your office, then ensure that you are both visible on the camera. Alternatively, it may be worthwhile to log in from separate devices, even if you're in the same room, to ensure that everyone is clearly visible on the screen. If you're using this approach, ensure that one device is completely muted and the volume is switched off to avoid feedback. Ensure that your face and your client's face are well lit and avoid sitting in front of a window or any other bright lights. Virtual or blurred backgrounds may not be appropriate for court hearings, so ensure that you are situated against a wall, a bookcase, or some other professional office environment that is free from distractions. Good audio quality is also essential for an effective online hearing. Like cameras, many modern devices come with a built-in microphone, but while a built-in camera may work well for online court, this is not always the case with microphones. Headsets or AirPods are probably your best bet to minimize background noise, but this will only work if you are the only person in your room. A bi-directional external microphone may be a better choice if you have a client with you in your office, even if your computer or webcam also has a built-in mic. It is always advisable to mute your microphone when you are not speaking to minimize any interference. If you are sitting at a distance from your device, ensure that you have a wireless keyboard and mouse so that you can control the microphone or type in the chat if necessary. Before the hearing, do a dry run, especially if your client is participating from a different location. Make sure everything is working properly and that you are happy with the video and audio quality, lighting, and camera placement. Make sure that you are early for the call so that you can run a similar test with the judicial support officer before the judge joins. Close all non-essential apps, especially anything that may be heavy on your processor or internet bandwidth during the hearing. Standard court etiquette applies to online hearings, but there are some things that you may want to do when conducting court from your office. Silence your mobile phone and hold all calls to your office. I also print a do not disturb sign and stick on my door while court hearings are in progress. Be wary of your body language. Eye rolls, head shakes, and similar body language are seen by the judge no matter who is speaking. Remember that you are always on show if your camera is on and there is no hiding during a virtual hearing. And always dress as you would if attending a physical courtroom. Preparation for court may sound obvious, but if you are using electronic resources such as e-bundles or digital rules of court, you would not want to be fumbling trying to locate what you're looking for during the hearing. Organize your documents efficiently so that you can find them easily and consider using multiple screens, one for the hearing and another for documents. If you will be using hard copy documents, organize them before the hearing and know where each bundle is so that you can readily access them. 
And if you need a moment, the judge is more than likely to be understanding and forgiving. So those are my top five tips for virtual hearings. Please feel free to comment on or share this video and stay tuned for much more.